Mike Radatovich Jr. recently out of the United States Marine Corps. How proud are you about that, you and your brother? That's big, man. Exceptionally proud uh, of all of our men and women in, in uniform to protect us and give us the rights and freedoms that some of us take for granted. But, uh, the young man behind the camera right now, I'm very, very proud of him for all he's done, not just for his country, but uh, for the family. He's a tremendous young man and very proud of him. Listen, the lieutenant that you were for many years in the Pennsylvania State Police, Larry Maggi, Lou Gentile, I, I love the state police, just if you can. And a guy that, I'm not asking you to make a political statement, but Tom Corbett, who really supported them while he was in office. And by the way, I got a text message the other day on the radio, on the right out of the text line, the best deal in town. Somebody was giving everybody credit, but the guy who should have all the credit for the Shell petrochemical plant, the $6 billion that they're bringing here, and what they have done. Many of those executives love and you know, play around the golf or two here at the Club at Shadow Lakes. Tom would be the first to tell you it was a team effort, and it was, with a lot of state legislators, including Jim Christiana. But he really was the driving force for that Shell petrochemical plant, and I will never let my audience forget that. But what about your time with the Pennsylvania State Police? I love my time with State Police. It was uh, 27 years of uh, not going to work every day. It was a vocation. It wasn't a job. It was a calling. The brotherhood between the men and women that served in gray was just phenomenal. Um, I have nothing but good things to say about the department and the people with whom I serve. And uh, Tom Corbett, uh, I was blessed enough to be with, not just when he was a governor, but as, in his position as a U.S. attorney. I dealt with him a couple times. I had the privilege to drive him around a couple times when he was in, in the city uh, as a governor. And he just couldn't be a nicer nicer person and a better friend to law enforcement. He was phenomenal. We are both big fans of Tom Corbett. And Mr. Corbett, round the golf on me, sir. Anytime we'll talk a little shell oil. I'd love to have you stop by. Listen. Pit football, but before we get to that, Steelers, everybody's talking about Ben, Le'Veon Bell, Antonio Brown, but I want to talk about, because you're a former quarterback, Mason Rudolph. I love the kid. I think he's going to be a keeper for a long time after Ben, three, four, five years, goes away. But I think Mason Rudolph might be the biggest story of the draft. I just pray that when he becomes the Steeler quarterback, three, four, five years down the road, okay. he has the success against the rest of the NFL that he had against my beloved Panthers I'm the last sorry. two years. You know what, I just he, realized that. Sorry. Absolutely, no, he was phenomenal in, in large reason. He's the reason, especially the game two years ago, and it was just going back and forth. I thought we had that game won a couple of times, and he just was unbelievable. His passes were perfect, his play calling, was, he was great, and I hope that he can continue that as a Steeler. David Garr, the former NFL player, a handsome young man now with the NFL Network, his top ten most influential quarterbacks in 2018. He did not have Ben Roethlisberger on the list. Jimmy Garoppolo in at number 10. Hey, Dave, you're a matinee idol, you're a male model, you're smart, you're an ex-NFL quarterback, but this is Steeler country. Ben Roethlisberger, in my opinion, taking no, nothing away from any of the great Steeler quarterbacks of the past, including Terry Bradshaw. He's the man. This guy has been exceptional. He has done a phenomenal job. He's got Hall of Fame numbers. He's won a couple Super Bowls. And uh, he's the face of the franchise. And for them to leave him off, it kind of surprised him. All right, I promise. He actually has notes this year. <laughs> I had a show because you did some cheap. Your due diligence. He's pit football proud. He's Paul Radanovich next.